Dish has a lot of 12 gigahertz. The 12 gigahertz has potential, if Dish gets its way, to be impactful, not just in satellite, but for it to have like a dual purpose. It could also be used in terrestrial cellular networking. So in Dish becoming the new 5G network, research indicates that 12 gigahertz used in two ways is very possible and probable. So because Dish has a lot of 12 gigahertz, and a lot of satellite companies do, they have access to a ton of it. We're talking about DBS. Dish wants to maybe use it, allow it to coexist for use in satellite and in cellular. The mission or the goal to use the 12 gigahertz for both without affecting satellite experience. That's important. You can't just all of a sudden turn your back on satellite. Satellite is profitable. Satellite you know, operations, people still use it. So we're not saying just push satellite to the back burner and not care at all. Don't abandon satellite use cases, but can we make this a dual purpose spectrum? This is obviously going to require some rules changes. The spectrum in 12 gigahertz that used in satellite is one way transmission. So a two way broadcasting requirement for cellular changes things. So the FCC gets involved at that point. So when you use it for terrestrial cellular service, the game has to change. SpaceX, you guys know Elon Musk, all right, Tesla and all that. They're opposing this. They don't want to see the spectrum leave satellite and go to traditional terrestrial cellular. Plus, it would also be executed by their competition, right? Dish and SpaceX are competitors. I'm not really sure why, though. I mean, they could benefit from this, too. But SpaceX, I think, has access to over 25,000 megahertz of spectrum. Even if they, even if the, the 12 gigahertz spectrum was removed, I mean, they still, I think, have licensed 15,000 megahertz. Like, what is SpaceX tripping about? I think it's just, it's just a competitive edge. That's really all I could think of. The only thing that is going to be a serious issue for Dish is if the 12 gigahertz spectrum goes up for public auction, meaning it doesn't go from satellite to Dish directly for cellular. So essentially what could happen is if things play out like it did in C-Band, the 12 gigahertz would go up for public auction and then companies like T-Mobile and Verizon and AT&T could also bid on the spectrum. Dish does not want that. Why would they want to strengthen the competition's holdings? So T-Mobile does. Verizon does. AT&T would love it. They would get in on that. But there's so much spectrum, it can actually be done. In fact, you could even split it. You could take some of the 12 gigahertz, auction some of it so that the other carriers can get in on it, and then allow Dish to have the rest of it and not participate in the auction. Which I think is probably better. Because again, you want to enable Dish to a certain extent in the early days to be able to compete. They're still playing from behind. They don't have the same wireless chops, you know, that the incumbents have. T-Mobile's got a hundred and some odd million customers. AT&T, same thing. Verizon, same thing. So from a market share perspective, Dish is at a disadvantage. But from situations like this, there's potential there. I know that Dish is going to come out publicly and say some of these things. This is the best thing for uh, for consumers. It's the best thing if customers have us with this 12 gigahertz. Well, then, if you really care about customers, why have you been squatting on Spectrum for the last decade? We know that they're full of crap. This is all window dressing. But they're going to say it. This is what's best for customers. This is going to get the Spectrum deployed the fastest. We don't need to waste time with an auction. They're going to try that narrative. But they do not want a C-band route. They do not want a public auction because then they would be competing for that spectrum that they were once using in satellite and is now going to go public auction for the other carriers. They will get it. Uh, there were quotes from Dish. I think it was their CEO, possibly, maybe CFO, I forget. It's in the best interest if Dish is to be a strong fourth carrier. This is what would have to happen. 12 gigahertz conversion. 
Uh, future looking statement. Obviously, I think the 12 gigahertz is a player in 5G. I think it's just as important in 6G. Um, you know, the whole densification process, 12 gigahertz is going to be a perfect spectrum for that use case. Uh, the story is at afiercewireless.com if you guys want to check it out. Again, I have been following Dish very closely, more so on the Patreon side, but also here. It might have been the CTO. I'm not sure. 